Hello, lovely people. <laughs> well, after last week's podcast with Dr. Bradley Campbell, there was no other company uh, that I could ask to come on the podcast today, apart from sunlight and saunas. And if you haven't seen last week's podcast, please go and check it out. But here's the little clip that I want to show you. So exercise, movement, moves your lymphatic system, helps your body cleanse itself. So what, if you can't exercise, you can sit in an infrared sauna. Very good advice. And I have to say, I love my far infrared sauna. Um, I personally didn't believe in far infrared saunas for a while until I had patients who were getting remarkable results from their saunas that they were not getting from other saunas. But the story I wanted to quickly tell is that a patient of mine who is a dentist, he was exposed to lots of mercury and other toxins over the course of his dental career. A lot of salon workers and dentists and people in chemical type of jobs, chemical exposure jobs are fairly toxic. And he was getting low libido. He was probably about 64 years old at the time. And when he would go in a sauna, he would feel fine, but not, no big change. And then his wife, who's very natural minded, got an infrared sauna and he would go in there and his libido would like rev right up. And <laughs> well, well, that's just done a huge amount of business for sunlight and saunas. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yeah. But um, every, yeah. every woman will go and get one now. <laughs> it actually was a sunlight and sauna, which is pretty funny. <laughs> well, that made me laugh and it made Dr. Bradley Campbell laugh. Uh, but I was actually incredibly serious about sunlight and saunas because they had done something to transform my health. Um, that was a bit of a, you know, I talk about this a, a lot, a bit of a mind fuck for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time that you actually learn about far infrared saunas and walk into one um they do change your life uh, and then the timing of this the universe and all that is quite fortuitous because a couple of weeks ago on remembrance sunday i did a very very impromptu social media post with my daughters when we were at a beautiful little market we've been to a remembrance sunday service and we'd gone to a little beautiful market to look for organic produce and everything for them for christmas and my daughter said to me mum so many people ask you what products you use and everything you've tried out on your journey that have transformed your health, you should do an advent calendar. Um, and I'm like, okay, let's do this. So, so at a couple of weeks notice, I'm you know, putting together an advent calendar. And then I kind of thought, okay, I'm going to email Sunlight and Saunas because I just love, love my Sunlight and Sauna. Um, and it's Black Friday weekend. And they have agreed to give you this phenomenal discount, um, which I'm I'm so thrilled with. Uh, and I just want to say a massive thank you and welcome uh, Joie Risk, who, who is the UK Managing Director of Sunlight and Sauna. Hello and welcome to The Wellness Way. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to um, meet you and, and be here. Oh, that is, it's fantastic that you've done this for all of, all of us. Um, and I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. So tell us a little bit about you, let um, yeah. our audience get to know you and how you started on your journey, because we all have a journey that takes us into natural health. And it's, it's really better to, um, to get to natural health before you have to start your journey. <laughs> but please tell us a little bit about you, my love. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's a bit of a theme here when you said uh, uh, finding out about infrared saunas is life changing. And, and that was definitely the case for me. It, it changed the course of, you know, what I was doing. Um, but really, my journey started because um, a couple of years ago, well, about uh, four to five years ago now, um, I was not very well. I'd had my my second child and uh, I was feeling really overwhelmed. And it coincided at a time where um, I'd, I'd been in, in my previous career in, in business, um, but I, I'd always been a fan of natural health and nutrition specifically, and really how we can use food as medicine. My mum really set, set the scene for that. She'd always cook things from scratch and she wasn't into, you know, using medication. She would always give me you know, natural remedies and and um, it was something I always carried with me. And so I did a, the great course at the College of Naturopathic Medicine 
Natural fantastic <laughs> college in London, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. College. I love what yeah. they're doing. Yes, very important work. And um, and through that, I discovered um, the Hippocrates Institute in in the US and um, became a, a subscriber to their to their magazine. And actually, through them, I found out about infrared saunas. And I, I was looking for a solution uh, to a lot of my issues at the time. I discovered I had very high levels of inflammation. I was completely out of balance. Um, you know, I, I wasn't sleeping for any number of reasons, partly to, due, due to having a child, but also, um, anyway, there was a lot going on for me at the time. And so part of my therapy was to, I, I thought, okay, let me give this infrared sauna thing a try. There was somewhere around the corner from where I lived at the time. I was very fortunate who had that had one. And um, I experienced my first session and uh, I came out and felt like, I just felt completely new. I felt like I was walking in slow motion. I felt at so much peace. Mm. And I tried saunas before and I, I love them. I'm Australian. I, you know, you, well, it sounds like a bit of a uh, an odd thing, but we, we have loads of ocean pools and the ability to jump in a traditional sauna. But this was really, really different. Um, and I became hooked and I decided, you know, I looked into it further and in the UK, there wasn't many, um, places that you could have an infrared sauna, but I, I discovered that in Australia, in the U S it was much more popular as an alternative therapy just for wellness, but as well as for a whole range of other, uh, conditions, um, and a very much a natural alternative to addressing sim symptoms from a number of other conditions. And so I spent a lot long time researching it and um, long story short, I uh, was asked to bring the brand out to the UK and Europe and um, the UK market was something that the, uh, the founders, Aaron and Connie, were very keen to pursue but in the right way and um, here we are. And so it, it literally changed the course of my life just following what I felt I was, you know, very, very passionate about. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with infrared. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I completely understand that. I struggled to find one when I, so I, I don't know if you know, but uh, a few years ago, I found a tumor in my throat and I was, I was very ill and my audience know this, so I won't bore them with it again, but uh, I was extremely ill and I spent two years of my life in bed and I went on a journey to heal and I learned about far infrared saunas. Well, I, I learned about saunas first of all, mm -hmm. and then I discovered the benefits of far infrared saunas and uh, I couldn't find one in the UK to go to. And a lot of people that were helping me on my natural health journey were saying, you have to do this. Uh, and I, I couldn't find one. And so I also did a lot of research and I came across you guys, for which I am eternally grateful. Um, so I'm going to ask you now just to talk a little bit about the history of saunas, because mm -hmm. everybody knows about saunas, you know, kind of. And there are there are many different types. And this is what I found very confusing on my journey, knowing the difference between them, the different benefits that they do. So can you just talk yeah. us through the history of saunas? Yes, and I'm really glad that you asked this question because um, it's it's you know it, it's what stops people you know going further and it's very confusing. So um, yes, <laughs> it's actually I mean saunas have been around for for, for ages, um, you know, and essentially. There's something intrinsic about the fact, though, that we know that if we get into heat, we will feel better. So a traditional sauna is, um, you know, the oldest type of sauna we have and is incredible for making us feel better. And it, it works a little bit different to an infrared um, sauna, but essentially a traditional sauna really works by heating the air. Um, and it can give wonderful benefits for raising the, raising the uh, heart rate. But we can't spend too much time in them. So I don't know anyone that can really safely spend over half an hour in there. And half an hour is quite a long time. Mostly it's about 10, 10 minutes. And so um, it makes us feel great. We come out. A lot of people will use them for hot and cold therapy. Um, but what we know is that we can't really stay in the, the, the traditional saunas long enough to trigger some uh, things like hormesis, which I'm sure you're aware of, which is our stress resilience. Um, and so it, it's still a wonderful way for people to get the benefits of heat therapy. But what what is 
new uh, and is becoming more well known is the benefits of far infrared. Now, yep. far infrared has been studied and there's clinical studies going back. You know, the first studies that we have are, are from Japan where they call it way on therapy. And actually it was used for cardiovascular uh, therapy. So where there were elderly patients that had cardiovascular issues, it was used um, really to help them to have a, cardi a moderate cardiovascular workout, if you like, and to, to regulate their, uh, their, their, their cardiac activity. And it was very, very successful. So they're the early um, clinical studies that we have about um, far infrared therapy. Um, now, it, there are it's things have moved on so you have you know far infrared therapy as we had it then delivered by various sorts of different ways um and 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 today what we have is sort of next generation infrared and, and where sunlight and um really leads the way where you have far infrared though combined as well with near uh, near infrared which is photobiomodulation which i'm pretty sure people are aware of as well as mid infrared um, and far infrared, though, leading the way in terms of the majority of the health benefits that we can access um, as well. So, yeah. So I'm going to stop you there because I one of the things that I got really confused about was the difference between far infrared and near infrared. Mm. Uh, and I know Sunlight and has has got a patented technology that is extremely clever but can you just very very simply let our audience know the difference between far and near that would be fantastic yes sure so it's really about the absorption um levels in the body so yep. the far infrared is able to be absorbed deeply into the body and really affects um the water molecules in the body and so what we're able to do with far infrared is to raise the core body temperature um, especially with so and raise the core body temperature by three degrees Fahrenheit and thereby giving the body a detoxifying cellular level sweat if you like releasing toxins on a cellular level um, as well as boosting the circulation so the far infrared is actually responsible for the heat that comes through from the the sauna um, it, it's, um, it's also able to provide a, a lot of circulation and it's far infrared, which gives the, the, uh, the heart, uh, benefits, the detoxification, the relaxation, the sleep benefits near infrared, um, is a much shorter wavelength. So it's not, it, it's optimally not delivered by heat. It's delivered via led and actually it is absorbed at a much more superficial level in the body and actually um, helps the um, muscle, tissue, skin even, um, and works on, a, uh, on the mitochondria really to renew the mitochondria's activity. And so, but it's not experienced as heat. So both have incredible health benefits. Um, they just work in a different way. Yeah, absolutely. And that works in a completely different way to going into a traditional sauna that we all know, which is... It doesn't, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding from my research was that a traditional uh, wet sauna uh, is more to do with just sweating, which again is a very, very important thing to do um, because we need to detox and get, you know, we live in a toxic world and we have to get that crap out of our body. Um, but what the, the far infrared really does is repair you at a cellular level, doesn't it? It gets deep deep into the cells yes. so um just even though on a detoxification level um there's a study that was done called the blood urine sweat study and it showed that um infrared sauna and then particularly um so so well particularly infrared sauna was more effective than traditional sauna even exercise of detoxifying the body than through uh, other methods so it, it is even on a detoxification level um, and a sweat level able to take out more toxins of, out of the body um, and also we're able to heal the body really on a cellular level using far infrared 
Yeah, this is a fascinating study, the sweat urine. Mm-hmm. Um, so they actually took people's urine and, and tested it for um, things like glyphosate. Uh, and then they, and, and well, everybody's got glyphosate in their pee now, but, and then they tested the mm. sweat of the people. So can you tell us a little bit more about that study? Yes, I mean it was um, it was done by a Canadian gynecologist. Actually, it, it, it wasn't a huge study. However, the results are really really interesting. And I think if anyone is um, looking at detoxif- detoxifying, it's really well worth having a look at. Um, but it looked at uh, toxins like you know cadmium, um, loads of heavy metals, mercury. It looked mercury, at it, yeah. yes, and um, and then it looked at the sweat which came out via you know blood urine um and just through uh urine as well as through um sweating through exercise versus sweating through uh, a traditional sauna as well as through a uh an infrared sauna and um you know it's really really interesting that people that were tested um before before they didn't even show up that they had some of these um uh uh metals heavy metals yeah at all but yet they were coming out in the sweat which came out via their their infrared sauna and yeah. not even via exercise so it goes to show that really on a on a cellular level there are so many compounds that we need to be detoxifying from and you can only really get in deep using an infrared sauna um, and we have also loads of um, customers who have shown us their personal results of before and after um, using an infrared sauna and they're able to get their heavy metals down significantly um, of course not instantly but over time and so it's a very very effective way of achieving that yeah no that's i mean that's why i did it when i started my journey when the tumor was taken out uh, i watched a great docu series called the truth about cancer which is actually where i first learned about yeah. far saunas far infrared saunas uh, and there was a homeopath on who wouldn't treat people with cancer if they had mercury fillings in their mouth. So I had to go and find a dentist to take my mercury fillings out. And um, it was all a bit of a cock up really. And they didn't do it properly. And I got very, very panicky that I had all this mercury floating around my body. Mm. Uh, and and I just kind of thought, right, okay. My mum had uh, just passed away and I had a, a little bit of inheritance and I thought, I'm going to buy myself a gift from mum that could save my life. And I went and bought uh, a sunlight and sauna. It was it was that important to me. Having seen the research, mm. I was just like, I have to be able to have access to this. Mm. But um, there's I, I've interviewed Dr. John Gray, actually, and not about this topic, but um, hopefully he's coming back on to talk about this topic, (laughs) about autism, Mm. because he had remarkable results detoxing autism. And I have another podcast coming out uh, as well uh, on autism and the gut. And, you know, we spoke about your training, Uh, but can you, it really, really, does work using far infrared sauna in relieving some of the symptoms of autism. Uh, Do you have any firsthand experience that you can share with us on that? Yes, and I must admit, um, this is something that I wasn't aware of when I first started working um, with Sunlighten and it's so important. So we actually, we've just started working with um, a lady called Ninka who runs a... uh, a program called Barefoot Autism Warrior. And she herself had firsthand experience with using the saunas with her, her son who had who has autism um, and found profound benefits. But what we know is that families who are able to use the infrared are, are able to achieve, you know, a lot of relief. So basically the far infrared will travel through and really relieve the muscle ache. So I think there's some symptoms of getting achy joint, achy muscles, and um, and sort of twingy muscles of, of, of children with with autism. So it's able to absorb um, into those areas um, and really 
provide relief. Um, also, from the perspective of um, just providing stress relief, it really reduces down cortisol for the children and makes them a lot more um, comfortable. And it, it it really improves sleep, which which I believe is a really really big part of it. Um, it is a really big yeah. part. Um, also, we use chromotherapy, so light uh, color therapy in the saunas. Um, and so that's also found to enhance their levels of relaxation and, and well-being um, as well. So um, as well as providing, yes, detoxification, of course, on, on yeah. that cellular, cellular level for them. And so it's a really key part of natural healing for autism. Um, and of course, it's perfect for children because we're able to use something very gentle. It feels like the sun really on their, in their bodies. Um, it's very gentle, but it's very, very effective. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's really important to say because, you know, with children, especially you need to keep therapy all therapy, I believe as gentle as possible so that you're not inducing trauma, you know, because the trauma, you know, I talk a lot about the wall, the first seven years of our life and all the trauma that that comes up in that time. And what I just love about, and, and I'm frantically busy and I've, I, I've, always been frantically busy I think apart from the time that I was ill and spent two years in my bed but what is so lovely is that you can just go into the sauna and and we'll talk about how long you should do and everything later but there's so many other things that you can do while you're in there and I'm really glad you mentioned the light therapy because I love that and uh, my sauna of, of yours has um, I can play music in there as well or I can listen to a podcast if I'm working um, I can journal in there Ooh. I mean it's a wonderful place so I don't know if you know but I'm the the author of the natural wellness journal there we go um, and I state about far infrared saunas in this because I believe it's a really important therapy but it is lovely just to sit there and listen to some music and have the lights going and just write you know and and if you're writing a book or something you can just go in there and do do your your 20 minutes practice a day (laughs) writing yes and do you find that it it makes a difference to your writing practice um I mean I know for, for myself it it's I actually get creative ideas and, and I put that down to my, my I'm shifting into the parasympathetic. And so it's almost like being in the middle of a meditation and, you know, I've practiced transcendental meditation as well in the past where, oh my gosh, I get the best ideas after that meditation. Well, actually during which. During, is- yeah. <laughs> yeah. It happens for me in the yeah. sauna and it's what happened to me when I initially started using the sauna. So I'd go on a Saturday morning and then I'd come out and be like, oh, and have all these incredible um, creative ideas. But it's, yeah, do you find that? Yeah, no, I absolutely do find that. And um, I'm a Soma Breathwork coach. And in Soma, we have a breathwork practice. Again, in the sauna, we have a far infrared sauna practice, again, to take us out of the sympathetic into the parasympathetic nervous system much quicker more quickly mm. much deeper uh, and it's fantastic and I, I will I will do a vid everybody on that I'll get one up on social media most probably next year now <laughs> um, but yeah no they're, they're they are massive fans Soma of mm. far infrared saunas and you do go to this far deeper level much quick much more quickly than you can do or I do anyway than I yes. can do um, outside of the sauna and 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 the light really helps and sound therapy really helps again which is a, a wonderful thing for people uh, with autism you know just that relaxing and it it, it is yeah well, I mean I think I think most people think of it as a luxury having a far infrared sauna but when you've been really really ill you know it's a necessity if Mm -hmm. you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Uh, Would you agree with that? Yes. I mean, really my mission is um, that people should be in one once a day. I think it's it's the lives that we lead. And, you know, you said you, you alluded to the fact that before you were ill, you were always a million miles an hour and now you are, but obviously you're probably a lot more balanced and doing something you're very passionate about. But I think, you know, we're, we're going through a time where stress is, 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 one of the biggest 
um, hindrances to people's health. Um, and, you know, sounds very simplistic, but it is not a simple thing to break down. Um, and stress and, and then what it causes in terms of in the body inflammation and then and then then that was what is that the precursor for is it's actually it's quite scary and the reason I'm so passionate about it is it's one of the easiest things that people can do I mean there's no stress in inside an infrared sauna it's very difficult to stay stressed in when you're in an infrared sauna. <laughs> very very difficult so, to stay stressed <laughs> and, yeah and so what you're getting is you're in this environment where your body is having to shift into that parasympathetic you're getting the the physical benefits which are incredible but the the, the benefits to the mind the hormones and um, you don't have to work very hard. So, you know, it, it's it's so simple, yet the benefits are just huge. Huge, and, absolutely yeah. huge. Yeah, and so really prevention as well. I mean, yes, if you're recovering from something, you're going to feel amazing when you're in there, but then just as a, a wellness tool, it's, it's just something that people should do every day and, and they'll gain huge benefits being there once a day. Sorry to interrupt this episode, but if you're enjoying this podcast and you'd like to find out more about my work, please come and join me on my webpage, phillyjlay.com, where I can give you all the up-to-date information of what I'm doing. You will get a free exclusive walking into your future meditation. I'm a shit hot manifest me. You can find out how to buy my book, The Natural Wellness Journal, a lay person's guide to your natural health systems, your very own NHS. We all have them. Let's use them. I look forward to seeing you there and introducing you to my new Rumble channel. Yes, I'm going to Rumble where we will have freedom of speech and my guests can talk about anything they want to. Thank you. I'll see you there. And then I also have to say, for those of you that, that can't afford one, there are other um, options for your health that um, are cheaper, like a fire, lighting a fire, you still get the same benefits, don't you? So, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's a wood burning stove in your living room or whether that's a fire pit in your garden, you know, just mm -hmm. go and find anything you can that relieves and gives you that that feeling could you explain to us mm -hmm. the benefits of just sitting in front of a, a wood burning stove a, a fire pit yes I mean I think it's it's quite um it's inbuilt really into our psyche isn't it to 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 have heat and to really feel like we absorb we absorb that heat um it, it and you know, like you say, you can sit in in front of a fire, obviously. And if it's if it's not uh, raining like it is here today for me, sit in the sun, um, and and our bodies interpret that and have a sense of well being, essentially. Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the only thing I would say is um, for people to be just wary of not being sold uh, things that are claiming to be an infrared emitter where they're not. Um, uh, you know, thing there there is a lot out there. Um, so there's there's lots of people who will uh, tell you that there are there are infrared lamps. Technically, you can buy from a, a hardware store. Um, these are not able to emit the kind of therapeutic infrared that is um, is is going to help. So yeah. um, and there are loads of other cheap infrared type devices and things like that out there um and for those it's an issue also of safety so whenever you actually apply infrared heat to any material it can cause off gassing in that material of course which is what you really don't want unless you know it's very safe and very and non-toxic mm -hmm. yeah. and so um i just want people to be aware of that especially if they're not well and not to you know, add more toxic burden or just spend money where they don't need to. So it can be as simple as sitting in front of yeah, that fire fire pit um, or, or a fire. Um, and the sunlight. Taking, or, the, or the sunlight or even taking a really warm bath, which will impact your core body temperature. Um, these are very much more accessible ways that you can get some of the benefits. Um, 
if you if you if you don't want to buy an infrared sauna. Absolutely, but I I can't really emphasize enough um, to our audience the benefits that you will get from this. And it's not just me that gets benefits from mine in my house. I've got to ask you about this. My little dog, Evie, (laughs) my little girl dog, just howls Mm. like a banshee if I don't allow her in the sauna (laughs) with me. Um, She's kind of learned my spot now where I want to sit, (laughs) but... I mean, she goes absolutely crazy for it. Mm-hmm. How safe is it for me it to is have safe. my it, dog in there? It is safe for pets. Obviously not from pet potentially as long as what you can stay in. So five to 10 minutes, they will absolutely love. Because you can imagine they're absorbing this heat into their bodies. It's 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 massaging almost there. It's vibrating and massaging <laughs> their muscles. Um, such a relief. So it's so relaxing. And yeah, it just goes to show they're very in tune with their needs and they're automatically identifying that, that um, it feels good. I mean, even for children, it's particularly safe. Um, my son, who's eight, loves getting in the sauna. I have to haul him out. Um, it, it feels good. They feel relaxed. They're at ease. Um, so children can use it for one minute per year of age as well, safely. Okay, so that's interesting. So, you know, one, one minute, two, two minutes. So eight, yes. your son has eight minutes, yeah? Yes, about okay. eight, 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 yeah, five to eight minutes. Is, is and at what age does that go to you can do the full 40 minutes? I think when, when you know, when it's an adult, so, you know, children, if you like, that are, you know, 18 to 20, they should, they can go in for half an hour, but they just need to be mindful, listen to their bodies. Um, see how they're feeling and and just judge it that way. I think it's really good for uh, older children where they've got exam stress and they've got a whole host of other things going on in their life. Um, and it's a really good habit to get into at that age and then grow into. I mean, what a gift that would be. I mean, I wish I had in the first one I was old yeah. when I was 15. Um, so um, it, it it's, I think that, as as they get older and they can more communicate how they're feeling, then they can start to st- stay in into the half an hour, 40 minute mark. Brilliant. Uh, well, that has been a fascinating chat. And I really hope the audience has understood the benefits of it because, you know, it it's it felt for me when I bought mine that it was a luxury. Yeah. Uh, but I I knew that I had to have that luxury to heal myself or, you know, it was going to be hugely, hugely beneficial. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so I'm really grateful to Sunlight and to you, Joao, for coming on today Mm -hmm. and for talking about this, you know, Mm -hmm. in depth and and hopefully explaining the differences. I understood Mm -hmm. that, you know, I wish, I I, I spent as, like you did, two years of my life researching and not knowing Mm -hmm quite what to think and I think Mm -hmm. that me really just put it in a nutshell so I just you know massive massive thank you Uh, and then we come to our our Black Friday special with sunlight and sauna which I oh you've thrown this together so quickly for me and I just massive thank you so if you head to my webpage phillyjlay.com there is a shop philly section which I'm going to be filling up over the next month uh with wonderful wonderful products and uh sunlight and are kicking this off with riverford farms two of the best companies i know so can you tell us a little bit about the discounts that you're offering today yes of course so um what we'd like to do is to so obviously right now everybody has black friday sales so uh what we're going to do which is really special for your followers is to offer an additional discount um, on top of the Black Friday, it's it's not something that we would normally do, but we really wanted to, to help out here. So we'll be doing an additional £200 off the Black Friday pricing, which is the lowest pricing that we, we have this year. So um, uh, that will be really, really exciting. And um, you can ring us and we can run through, you know, your individual circumstance and, and show you and how you, you and your family will benefit from the sauna. You say it's a luxury. Um, it's 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 honestly not. I think no, that's I know, something that every day when you use, you'll be so grateful that you did it, and your health will be, you know, your body will thank you for it. Um, 
as well. So, um, but yes, a little bit of a gift from us for additional uh, an additional discount for your listeners. Also, um, that will include um, free room of choice delivery um, and half price installation if people choose to have um, our team install it as well. So to make it as easy as possible. Um, and it's a great time to be buying a sauna when, as the weather gets colder, if it ever does, uh, due to uh, <laughs> what's going on at the moment, climate change. But um, yeah, it's a really, really, it's a really good time um, to have it all set up before Christmas, if you can. Absolutely. And you spoke a little bit earlier about depression. I think a mm. lot of people um, suffer from seasonal effect disorder um which is not depression um i'm pleased do not think i'm confusing the two but but with all of those um those mental health issues Mm -hmm. as you know the weather gets colder and wetter you we're we're meant to kind of go into caves and hibernate and i can't think of anywhere better (laughs) than to hibernate than my sunlight and far infrared sauna. So yes. I just want to say a massive thank you. And this extra additional discount that you've given uh, our audience today is fantastic. So uh, this podcast uh, is going out on Monday, the 28th of November, which is just after the Black Friday weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's a 24 hour offer. So, uh, which is incredibly generous of them. Uh, And because it is the biggest discount I've ever seen with sunlight. And so really, thank you. So I just say, get to my webpage, Um, you know, absolute minimum, just go and check out their webpage. But it is, you know, as I said, 1st of December, I'm going to be um, talking about lots and lots of different companies and products that have helped me, but I am opening with the big one, guys. So I just want to yeah. say, Juarez, thank you. Sunlight and Sauna, thank you so much for coming on the podcast today uh, and telling us about this. It really is fascinating information. So it's been really, really great talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next week on The Wellness Way. Goodbye. If you would like to see more of this interview, please head over to my Rumble channel and join my locals community. We have never experienced such unbelievable censorship in the natural health community, and Rumble is one of the very few places left to speak freely about what has happened to our health over the last few years and debate if Western medicine has been hijacked. I will never ask any of my guests to be censored, so I will be putting the full uncut video versions of all podcasts up for free. All you have to do is create an account if you haven't done so already. The link is in the show notes, and I would highly recommend that you come and join me. And you can sign up to my webpage for my newsletters and details of all my work, including my Telegram channel, which is also uncensored, if you would like to learn even more. Thank you.